76ers should go all in for Cade. That coming from DC Marley. Love Bob Marley if you're trying to make a reference there. I can listen to Bob Marley reggae all day, every day. Um, I'm not sure if the Sixers should go all in on Cade. And what would they give up to the Pistons? Ben Simmons? He's a clutch client, led by Rich Paul. I don't think Rich Paul allows Ben Simmons to go to Detroit. Uh, maybe it gets a deal done, though. Ben Simmons, Tyrese Maxey, Matisse Thibel, and a future first-round pick. I think that's more a more realistic trade for Damian Lillard rather than it is Cade. Also, Sixers are in win-now mode. Drew the uncle. Would Ben Simmons fit on the Knicks for the right price? Maybe. If there's one position that the Knicks desperately need, it is point guard. But is Ben Simmons a point guard? We're not sure. Is he a point guard? Is he a point forward? Can he play a small ball five on a team like the Warriors while you still have Draymond Green who plays power forward slash point forward? The Knicks need a point guard. I just don't know if that's in the mold of Ben Simmons who at the end of games really is just hurting you because he doesn't shoot, won't shoot, scared to shoot, allergic to shooting, and he's awful at the free throw line because he shot under 35% in a large variety, large portion of his free throws during the NBA playoffs. So I don't think Ben Simmons is in play for the New York Knicks. And if I'm the Knicks, I probably would not trade for Ben Simmons. Where do you think he's going to play next season? Is it going to be the Sixers? Maybe the Knicks? Another team? Warriors? Trailblazers? Let us know in the comment section down below. Vahan Matal, who was the best package for Dame? Knicks have a really good package. They could put together R.J. Barrett. Uh, Mitchell Robinson, Kevin Knox, and like three future first-round picks. In the NBA, you can't package back-to-back first-round picks. The Knicks can, though, because those picks are from other teams, especially the Dallas Mavericks in that Chris Stapps trade. I like the Sixers. Uh, you package Ben Simmons, Tyrese Maxey, Matisse Thibel in a future first-round pick. That's a pretty good deal. The Warriors are in that conversation as well. Two lotto picks at 7-14. and 14. Andrew Wiggins is a salary match. Jordan Poole is a cheap and affordable player. James Wiseman there, of course, as well. Uh, those are the teams that I'm really looking at. The Celtics, if you package Jalen Brown, I wouldn't for Damian Lillard. But those are some of the teams that have the best packages for Dame. Let's throw the heat in there as well. And if you want to go Lakers, Anthony Davis for Dame, that's really the only realistic trade option that the Lakers could pull off. Rogue Brothers, always in the chat. Do we have to be a fan to subscribe to the different team channels? I'm a basketball fan, and I would love to sub to all. Subscribe to them, then, and help us out here at Chat Sports because, no, you don't have to be a fan of those team-specific teams, but uh, team-specific channels, I should say. But if you want to stay up to date with all of the latest NBA news and rumors with those respective squads, we now have six channels here at Chat Sports in terms of team-specific channels in the NBA. Subscribe to them. Producer Sam Brown doing a good job of putting those subscription links at the bottom of your screen and floating through those. All of those subscription links are also in the description of this video. Lakers Report, Warriors Today, Mavericks Today. We're pushing out multiple videos every week on those channels as well as Celtics Today. And the good news is... For Knicks fans as well as Sixers fans, we just launched a Knicks and Sixers channel last Friday already. More than 200 subscribers, which tells us there are a lot of Knicks and Sixers fans out there who are hungry and thirsty for the latest Knicks and Sixers rumors. So once again, those links to subscribe have been floating at the bottom of your screen or they're in the description of this live video. Jason Kreider chiming in with this question. If any, what teams do you think can rack in a two-star player like the Clippers or the Nets did in 2019? If the Celtics gave up Jalen Brown, I think they could land Damian Lillard. And I think that immediately gives you two stars in Jason Tatum as well as Damian Lillard. And I think that would make them favorites, if not second, behind the Nets. I think the Milwaukee Bucks obviously deserve to be in that conversation as well. Also, if you team up Dame with Joel Embiid, I think that could be one of the most lethal one-two combos in the NBA. So I'm looking at those teams as two squads that could team up two-star players, kind of like what the Clippers and Nets have done over the last couple of off-seasons. Should Philly sign Norman Powell? I don't think so, for a couple of reasons. In terms of the roster fit, I don't love it. I did think he had a breakout season last year. He averaged almost 19 points per. He was a pretty efficient shooter as well. But outside of scoring, 
doesn't really give you all that much. He's also going to cost a lot because he is coming off what was a very impressive season last year. In terms of roster fit, though, just don't love it for Philly. Some people might say that if Norman Powell becomes a free agent, because he does have a player option, he might be the most underrated free agent this offseason. Who do you think is the most underrated free agent? Get those names in in the comments section.